I want to talk about dreams tonight. I had a lot of people asking me these days to pray for them. Most of them, they had bad dreams at night. Some of them, they wanted an interpretation for those dreams that they were having. I believe that God has brought me tonight to interpret your dreams. Did you know that if Pharaoh did not have a Joseph by his side, Egypt will perish because there was no interpreter. Anybody that does not have an interpreter, they perish. If Joseph was not in Egypt, Egypt was going to perish because there was no interpreter. There was no one to interpret his dreams. I believe that God has sent me tonight to interpret your dreams. The Bible says, it says of the Shunammite woman, his, her son died. And the Bible says, he went to Elisha the prophet. Elisha prayed for the young man. And the boy, the, the boy resurrected from his death. But in his resurrection, he sneezed seven times. Then from the sneezing, Elisha prophesied and said, There shall be famine for seven years in this place. So you must leave this place and come back after seven years. If there was no interpreter, if there was no Elijah to, to Elisha to interpret the dream, the Shunammite woman and the boy would die of, of starvation. They would die of the famine because... There would be no interpreter. There are dreams that you saw at night. God spoke to you, but you did not understand them. You could not perceive what God was saying to you. I just want to read a few verses here before I pray for you. In the book of Job chapter 33, Job 33, verse number 14. Share the broadcast wherever you are. Job 33, verse number 14. The Bible says, For God does speak. Now, one way, now another. Though men may perceive it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep fall on men, as they slumber in their beds, he may speak in their, in their ears and terrify them with warnings. God will always speak to us. The word of God says in the book of Job 33 verse number 14, God that speaks, but he does not speak in one way. I want, to, I want to assure you, people of God, God is always speaking to us. But men are failing to perceive the voice of God. Men are failing to, to hear the voice of God. I strongly believe that God speaks to men in more than five channels. I believe that each and every believer must have at least five channels on which God communicates to them. God must speak to you in many channels. God must speak to you through his word. He must speak to, to you through the Holy Spirit, through the prophets, through the, 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 the angels. He must speak to you in dreams and visions. Tonight, I want to address the issue of dreams and visions. I pray that God may give you interpretation. May he give you grace to interpret your visions and dreams. If you read the book of Daniel chapter 1 verse number 17, the Bible says Daniel understood visions and dreams. He understood the interpretations of visions and dreams. When you read Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse number 1, the Bible says, who can, who can interpret? Is there a man who can interpret? Is there a man who can interpret the meaning and, and who can know the interpretation of things? I pray that the Lord will give you grace to interpret your dreams. I pray that God will give you grace to interpret your visions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I also want to read you the book of Numbers, chapter number 12, verse number 6. Numbers, chapter 12, verse number 6. He says, listen to my words. When, when a prophet of the Lord is among you, I reveal myself to him in visions. I speak to him in dreams. 
Listen to my word. When a prophet of the Lord is among you, I reveal myself to him in visions. I speak to him in dreams. The Lord is saying he's always speaking to us, but men perceive it not. He's always communicating to us. When men slumber, when men is asleep, he says, I always speak to men. When men is asleep, I speak to him in visions. If there's a prophet among you, I speak to him in visions. He says, I speak to him in dreams. But when God speaks to us in dreams, some of us cannot perceive the dreams. There's a difference between a dream and a vision. A dream needs interpretation. But a vision does not need interpretation. There are, there, there are types and types of visions. There are open visions. There are closed visions. And we also have trances where God will bring down heaven to you or you will go to heaven. Then closed visions is when you will be asleep and you will see a vision. That does not need interpretation. But at some, at some times, God will speak to you in an open vision. Then in dreams, dreams are the dark sayings of God. God will speak to you and he will need you to know the interpretation of what he's saying to you. There are dreams that come to us. And because we do not, we do not know the interpretation of things, we lose the information that God is sharing with us. We lose the instruction that God is giving us. God will always speak to us in visions and dreams, giving us warnings, giving us directions, telling us about future events, telling us about, telling us, uh, us about things to come, giving us direction, showing us who to marry, showing us where to, to, to work. He will always speak to us. But men perceive it not. Tonight, if you have bad dreams, I want to pray for you. I will give you a few examples of bad dreams that people are sharing each and every day with me, saying, men of God, please pray with me. This that I will share to you, these are 10 dreams that will scatter your opportunities. If you see these dreams, you must know that the enemy is planning to scatter your opportunities. These dreams, when you see them, you must know that the enemy wants to abort the vision of God inside of you. But I refuse for you to, 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 to have your, your, your opportunities scattered by the enemy. In Jesus' mighty and word of name. Number one, you will see a dream whereby you are eating at night. A dream where you are eating at night is only good when you are eating with a man of God. Or a head of state. Or a president. Because that will mean that if you are seeing yourself eating with a man of God... It will mean impartation. It means that you are eating at the same level, at the same table with that man of God. So if you are seeing a dream, eating with a man of God, eating with a president, eating with a head of state, that will mean that you are sharing the same position in the realm of the spirit. Or you are eating in the same table, you are receiving impartation. Somebody share the video, somebody share the video. Some, someone wants this so very bad. So eating it in, in a dream might be a good sign that there's impartation taking place in your life. But there's also a neg the negative part of eating in a dream. Eating in a dream may be a sign that the Lord is showing you that the enemy is aborting opportunities in the realm of the spirit. It's a spirit of abortion. This is spiritual abortion. You might be going to an interview in a week or in a few days. But if you see yourself eating in that dream, it means that that opportunity is aborted. That opportunity is terminated. But I pray for you tonight that any enemy that is planning to terminate opportunities may it catch fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any devil that came through the dream of eating at night, trying to abort and terminate opportunities, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, it is catching fire right now in the name of Jesus. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to hold your chest wherever you are. If you had a dream whereby you were eating at night, 
Just hold your chest right now as I pray for you. The Lord is delivering you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is touching you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Another dream where the enemy will be aborting opportunities, opportunities in your life is a dream where you see yourself having sex in a dream. Where you see yourself having sex in a dream, it is a plan of the enemy to abort your marriage. It is a plan of the enemy to abort opportunities in your life. It is a plan of the enemy to kill the sex drive if you are married. If you have sex in the dream, it is highly possible that in a few days, you will, you will have fights with your wife. Or if you are not married, it is a, it, 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 you, you, you can have fights with your boyfriends. If you are not married, you can have a, a fight with a, boy, a boyfriend over minor things because of sex dreams. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord deliver you in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Your deliverance is sure tonight. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, every sex dream is leaving you tonight. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, this dream again, it makes you to struggle in the areas of prosperity. You struggle in the areas of prosperity. But I pray for you, you shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, you can see a dream whereby you are naked at night. Zelabaha Sojaya. Oh my God and my Father. If you don't know these things, you might even ignore the dream. Yet the enemy has finished with your life. If you don't know these things, you might even think it was just a dream. When the enemy was killing you, when the enemy has finished with you. If you see yourself naked in a dream, or you see a believer, you see your friend, you see your parent or whosoever close to you, you see that person naked in a dream. Oh my God and my Father. That is a sign of removal of glory in one's life. If you see yourself naked in a dream, it means that glory is taken from you. Glory is taken from you. Beauty is taken from you. Dignity is taken from you. Then what follows after that is shame, rejection, disappointment. My God and my Father. So this can be a sign of a curse in your life. The enemy can curse you that shame shall be your portion. But I refuse for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the enemy took, whosoever took your clothes, at times you will see yourself losing clothes at night. You will see yourself losing clothes at night. It's a, it's a sign that the enemy is bringing shame into your life. At times you will see yourself losing your shoes. Did you know that shoes has a voice in the realm of the spirit? If you lose your shoes... That is a sign that you are losing direction. Shoes stands for authority. Shoes stands for direction. If you lose your shoes, it means you are losing your direction. You are going, you are approaching a season of depression. You are approaching a season, my God and my Father, a season of confusion. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord spare you in the name of Jesus Christ. May God spare you for, from shame. May God spare you from confusion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. May God spare you from confusion. May God spare you from confusion in Jesus' mighty name. I stand by the authority upon my life, by reason of the oil upon my head. I stand at the warehouse of the enemy. Whatsoever clothes, whatsoever that belongs to you, that is in the stores of the enemy, in the warehouse of the enemy, I, I, I shout right now in the name of Jesus Christ, it is coming to you in the name of Jesus. Your clothes are catching fire in the storehouse of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Your clothes, your shoes that the enemy took in your dreams. It is catching fire right now. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray against the mark of shame. The mark of rejection. The mark of disappointment upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Be set free from depression. Be set free from rejection. Be set free from disappointment. I pray that mark of rejection. I pray that mark of disappointment in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody comment and receive wherever you are. Shout amen. Shout I receive. Somebody comment and shout I receive. Number four, you will sometimes see a bed, 
a dream or I had so many people calling me saying, Prophet, yesterday I bedwetted. If you bedwet and you are already married or you bedwet, you are already old. We have passed the age of bedwetting. You wake up in the morning, you are wet. You wake up in the morning, your bed is wet. My friend, that is a sign that the enemy is tarnishing your image. It's a sign that the enemy is tarnishing your image. It's a sign of poverty. It's a sign of evil attachment. It's a sign of hatred. It's a sign that something bad is about to happen in your life. It's a sign that the enemy wants to tarnish your image. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every spirit of poverty in your life. I break every evil attachment. I break every spirit of hatred. I break every life pollution. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, the enemy will not tarnish your image. In the name of Jesus, the enemy will not tarnish your image. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody shout, I receive wherever you are. The enemy will not tarnish your image in the name of Jesus. You will not receive ins insults from people in Jesus' mighty name. At times you will see yourself in a dream, and in a dream you will be in your village. A dream where you see yourself in your village. It's a sign of retrogression. It's a sign of ancestral powers and idols that don't want you to progress. It's an enemy of progress. If you see yourself in your, in, in your, in your, in, in your village, it's a, that is a sign that the enemy is fighting your progress. The enemy is speaking against your progress. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive acceleration. Every force, every spirit that is fighting your progress, it is catching fire now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is fighting your progress, it is catching fire right now wherever it is. In Jesus' mighty name. From that bondage, from that spiritual bondage, you are free. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout, I receive. You will see dogs, elephants, or whatsoever. When you see those things, oh my God. It's a sign that the enemy wants to scatter opportunities in your life. It's a sign of witchcraft. If you see black dogs, it's a sign of witchcraft, my friend. It's a sign of witchcraft. Sometimes you'll see yourself being chased by dogs. Sometimes you'll see yourself being beaten by dogs. If a snake or a dog bites you at night, it's a sign of sickness. It's a sign of witchcraft. It's a sign that the enemy wants to terminate your blessing. But I pray for you tonight that whatsoever animal, every animated spirit that comes to you in a dream, to terminate your blessing. Let it catch fire right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dog sent by the enemy in your dreams as a sign of witchcraft. May it catch fire right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy that is sent in the form of snakes that wants to terminate your, your destiny. Let it catch fire right now in the name of Jesus. At times, snakes may represent people that are loyal to you. It may represent people that you cannot think they will do something horrible or bad in your life. People will trust so much. And if you see dogs, dogs are loyal animals. So if the dogs will come and bite you, instead of being loyal to you, then it's an enemy, it's an attack. Don't sleep. If you see that dream, work out, work up there and there. Start praying. Reverse the plans of the enemy. Oppose the plans of the enemy. Bind the strong man. If you see those dreams, don't sleep, my friend. Pray against the enemy. The Bible says in the book of James chapter 4, chapter 4 verse number 7. He says, humble yourself before God. Resist the devil. He will flee from you. Resist the devil. He will flee from you. If you see those bad dreams, if you see those nightmares, wake up there and there. Pray against those night, night, nightmares. Pray and trust God for your deliverance. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are free from animated demons in Jesus' mighty name. Some of you sometimes, you will see yourself in your former school. You are now old, 
you are at tertiary level or you are even doing your masters but you see yourself in primary level it's a sign of retrogression it's a sign of retrogression if you see yourself in your former school these are powers working against your academic excellence these are powers working against your academic excellence these are powers working against your progression these are powers working against your promotion if you were to receive a promotion and you see these dreams where you see yourself in your former school you are even wearing your, your uniform you are wearing your khaki your, 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 your short khaki my friend the enemies are taking you you must pray against it some of you people of God you don't pray if you see these dreams you think it was just a dream then if time goes on you will see yourself being attacked by de de devils, demons that is not your portion in Jesus mighty wife name so if you see yourself in, in a former school it means the enemy is shutting every open door in the realm of the spirit I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ may God set you free from every spirit of retrogression may God set you free from every spirit that is fighting your academic excellence. May God set you free from every spirit that is fighting your excellence. In Jesus' mighty name. May God set you free from every spirit that is fighting your promotion. May God set you free from every spirit that is fighting your open doors. In the book of Revelation chapter 8, verse number, chapter 3, verse number 8, the Bible says, Behold, I've opened a door before you. No man can shut. I decree and declare. That is your, 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 your portion. God is opening a door for you. No man can shut that door in the name of Jesus Christ. Number eight, you may see yourself carrying eggs. And suddenly, the eggs will fall and break. If you see broken eggs in a dream, if you see broken egg or broken eggs in your dream, it's a sign of suffering in marriage, my friend. It's a sign of suffering in marriage. It's a sign of unfruitfulness. If you are a woman, you see yourself, uh, you are carrying eggs and the eggs are broken, are breaking. It means you, 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 have you, you will have challenges bearing children. If you are still young, in an interesting quote for the fruits of the womb, don't allow these dreams to, to, to pass by without you praying for them. Pray against it. Decree and declare that you are fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God and my Father, I'm about to pray right now. So, if you see broken eggs, it's a symbol that the enemy wants to terminate your destination. If you see broken eggs, it's a symbol that every investment that you have made, you will lose. If you are planning to invest in forex, in forex trading, then you are planning to invest in forex trading this week. Then you see broken eggs. My friend, don't, don't invest Pray, investigate the source of your problem. Pray and ask God for grace. Because it's a sign 